Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this exciting announcement. My name is Brandon Lunty, and I'm the MLA for Leduc Beaumont. Today is a great day for both Leduc and the agri-food industry across Alberta. I'm thrilled to be joined this morning by a number of special guests, including Alberta's Minister of Agriculture and Irrigation, the Honorable R.J. Signerson, the Mayor of Leduc, Bob Young, and the founder and CEO of Grand Swell Food Group, Brandon Marcoux. To get started, I'd like to provide a little background on the Food Centre, which has a 40th anniversary coming up next year. The first facility was the Food Processing Development Centre, which is on the other side of the property. Alberta's government opened it in 1984, and the past four decades, it has provided services and equipment for food, beverage, and ingredient companies to scale up products and bring them to market. There are also food scientists in the facility that collaborate with the agri-food industry and post-secondary institutions on research projects that inspire innovation and growth. In 2007, the second part of the facility opened. It's known as the AgriValue Processing Business Incubator, or Business Incubator for short. The incubator provides help to startups and small businesses to prepare products for sale within Canada and around the world by providing them with the tools they need to meet federal food regulation requirements. As elected officials and residents of Leduc, I know Mayor Young and I are proud to have this provincial food center in our city, and we're excited to hear what's happening now. With that, I'd like to ask Minister Signerson to share the latest news about the food center. Well, thank you for that, uh, Brendan. Uh, it's, it's really exciting to be here this morning, and thank you to everyone who's joined us here for this <clears throat> very exciting announcement. Today, of course, we've reached another milestone at the Leduc Food Center. I'm pleased to announce we've completed a major expansion on the business incubator. The renovation has added 2,300 square meters, making this the largest facility of its kind in North America. With this addition, more startups and growing food companies are able to lease space here before graduating to their own facility. Each lease includes a suite like this, along with common storage areas, lunch rooms, and locker rooms for staff. When a company works out of the business incubator, they get product and business development support from a team of experts. For example, they're connecting companies to marketing specialists and financial planning coaches who guide tenants in growing their small business and reaching new markets. There are also food scientists and product development experts to help create, innovate new items to market consumer demands. What's more, the Leduc Food Centre is federally licensed by the Canadian Food Inspection Agency. That's key because it helps tenants prepare foods for sale within Canada and around the globe. Since the business incubator opened in 2007, tenants have produced a wide variety of made in Alberta products from baked goods to dumplings and even fully cooked meats. These products, products have been marketed to retail, wholesale, hospitality, and food service industries. Many companies came here as startups and grew on site and then eventually graduated to their own facilities. You may be familiar with some of them, like Cywin Foods. They went on to build their own plant and now they sell world famous dumplings and wontons and other products in stores here and across the globe. Elias Foods is another graduate from the Business Incubator. Their Chef Bombay brand features gourmet appetizers and entrees that fill plates across North America. These are just a couple of the examples of companies that have worked with the Incubator to expand their businesses. The important thing to note is that the businesses that use this facility play a vital role in Alberta's agri-food industry. They contribute to our first class reputation for high quality products and our government understands this. We know this renovation will allow more food companies to take the next steps to grow their businesses and bring products to Canada and around the world. The fact is when the agri-food industry thrives, it drives innovation and helps grow Alberta's economy. 
To keep this momentum going, we invite food processing companies of all sizes to work with this business incubator. Businesses can visit alberta.ca to find out how to lease a space and get guidance from the experts here. It's rewarding to hear about some of the companies that have benefited already from this business incubator. Groundswell Food Group began, began as a startup at the facility about six years ago. In that time, they've grown their business, developed innovative new products, and expanded into markets across North America. And I'll now bring Brandon Marku, Groundswell's founder and CEO, to tell you about how the business incubator is helping them create ready-to-eat products. Thank you. Thank you, Minister. I uh, appreciate the opportunity to come and speak here and tell a little bit about our experience and time uh, here at the incubator. Uh, it's a very exciting day for the food producer community in Alberta. I'm Brandon Markew, founder and CEO of Groundswell Food Group. Our journey started back here at the Processing Development Centre back in 2016. We had an opportunity with the uh, Western Canadian retailer Save On Foods to produce a line of clean, natural, smoked RTE deli meat. And when we presented this product to Save On Foods with the assistance of our food science team here at the facility, we wound up getting an opportunity with 30 of their stores. And from there, we outgrew our capabilities at the incubator when we started to get interest from a number of other retailers across Canada. And we moved into the incubator just down the hall from where we stand now. Fast forward six years and Ground 12 Food Group has evolved into a number of several purpose-driven brands and a contract manufacturing division, which services small and medium-sized food companies as they seek to expand their product mix and presence in the marketplace. Our brands are purpose-driven and we're focused on making positive social health and wellness impacts. Our first brand, Range Road Meat Company, focuses on delivering clean, natural products to the deli category. Meatso is a new line of ours and it's a series of authentic indigenous meat snacks in partnership with the Gladue family of Big Stone Cree Nation. Our objective there is to restore, share, and preserve tr uh, indigenous traditions connecting people and cultures through authentic food experiences. And finally, our latest brand, Dark Matter, is at the intersection of functional foods and conventional meat snacks, helping fuel athletes and active lifestyles on their path to reaching their potential. In the time since we've started, our team has grown from one to 30. Products that we manufacture are sold in over 3,000 retail stores across North America, and in Canada, we service the small independent natural organic retailers all the way up to the large national chains. As we continue to develop our brands and products, our team grows, and so does our footprint in the marketplace. This facility is second to none in the world, and I'm constantly told by peers in the industry that we're the envy of the food and beverage manufacturing industry. The Alberta food and beverage ecosystem has a ton of talent, energy, and ideas that need support to see the light of day. The FPDC and APBI have been essential in supporting us on that journey. Food and beverage manufacturing is an extremely capital intensive endeavor, and this facility with, the, with this facility, startup companies have had the ability to pursue big ideas less expensively and with less risk. The physical facility is only one variable in this equation. The team at the Development Center and Incubator have been extremely helpful in helping us navigate product development, manufacturing processes, and food safety. The operations, food safety, science, and maintenance teams, many of which are here today, have been extremely helpful in get getting us to where we're at today. On behalf of Alberta producers, we'd like to thank the province and the ministry for their continued support in helping to incubate companies like ours and increasing the value added opportunities within Alberta. Thank you. Thank you. Well, as mentioned by Brown, uh, Brandon with Groundswell, uh, when it comes to agri-food processing, when you talk about your small and medium businesses when they first start up, it's very capital intensive. So facilities like this uh, shoulder a lot of that burden off the start to get their feet underneath neath them, get them profitable so they can grow their business to a size in which it makes the transition for the, them to be able to go and build their own facilities so much easier. So it really is exactly that. It's an incubator to, to start their business and, and get them going. But I might have Brandon maybe just talk a little bit about uh, his experience, where he's been over the last six years growing his business and how it really has sparked Groundswell and helped them, you know, get a, a f you know, foothold in, in the market right now. So we're a little bit unique as a meat producer. Uh, many of the marketplace retail opportunities that we pursue require federal inspection. 
And while we have the facility here, which is great, it's the federal inspection, it's the team, it's the support staff that help enable us to live within that federally inspected environment, something which was completely foreign to me to begin with, and it is an incredibly uh, intense um, framework to comply with in order to deliver safe foods to our, our, our general population. So that was a little bit of a blind spot coming into this business and the support of the team here has been extremely helpful in helping us navigate that and enable us to, uh, I guess, connect on those opportunities out there in the world with, with the larger national retailers. <laughs> I, I don't I don't exactly have that number with me. It's something that I'd have to follow up with my department on on the expansion. Of course, as we mentioned, it's not the whole facility. This is an expansion, as mentioned. Um, but when we look at this overall, the investment dollars, when we talk about the GDP growth, and I'll say it over and over again, one of the greatest potentials within Alberta right now is agri-food processing to diversify our economy. So this really is a benefit to the province as a whole in GDP growth as we continue to grow as a province. And, and it's important that we understand that we are so close to such high quality product that as we move into this space, it is an immense potential for feeding the globe and families here at home as well.